In this video, we're gonna talk about this machine. We're gonna break down the numbers, um, as you saw from the title, plus 1900, because a lot of people, uh, vending machines, you may get into selling vending machines, not necessarily doing your own route, but maybe you want to buy a machine, fix it up, sell it. So in this video, I'm going to talk about this machine, this Witter and Combo machine and where we got it from, what we had to do to it, and eventually how we were able to sell it, the place we sold it, all the details. So if you have a question leave it down below but basically this winter nice it's uh gets cold right it's got bill coin that hole right there is for your credit card reader uh super nice machine about five years old but led lighting all the stuff right so this machine uh was an opportunity from a gentleman down south um south of tampa bay a lot, of thing, a lot of people in vending get in, then get out. So there's a lot of opportunity there, right? Someone does it, life happens. Divorce, they've got kids, they want to change careers. Whatever the issue, an opportunity can come up. So this machine right here, new, is around $7,000. Um, not sure what the gentleman paid for it, but we were able to get this for around $1,200. $1,200. Um, it took, it was $400 in shipping, $400 to pay someone to go down there, pick it up, bring it back. So into it for 16, uh, $1,600 listed it, listed it on what I've found the best place to sell machines is Facebook marketplace. Try it offer up Craigslist. There's, um, you know, a number of different options to sell the machine, but this machine, um, got a lot of hits on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace. Put all the details, you put the pictures, they send you a little message. So we listed this one for $4,000. $4,000, actually have two of these, two of these, uh, one set up as drink, all drinks. We're gonna switch it over to a combo also though, because combos seem to be what the beginning vendor, um, beginning vendor wants to get into not a huge combo fan we have combos ams combos problem with combos the capacity right you've got two drink trays three snack trays you're gonna put in a combo um it can work at some smaller locations but normally we would put this machine in between a full-size snack full-size drink put your energy drinks your teas whatever there maybe put some food items lunchables cold items up top as an auxiliary, as an additional um, machine in a three machine setup. But a lot of people like the combo, like the combo, they like it. So give the people what they want. Anyways, listed it on Facebook Marketplace, $4,000. Um, when you're selling machines, you'll have to realize there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people that will try and lowball you, you know, 2,000 or this amount. Um, you know, you can work with some people a little bit. Basically, you have two of these, just trying to offload this one, and then we're gonna hold strong on the other price, depending on how that goes, um, how long it's listed. We still have to convert it over to the combo. Um, basically offered three, I said 38, we met at 35. So everything works on it. It's a great machine, so it's actually getting a great deal. It's a win-win situation. Found an opportunity, cheap machine, I mean, $1,200 for a machine like this is, uh, is a great deal. So if you're thinking about uh, maybe another avenue in vending, don't want to do the route side, if you have in your area, you know, California, Texas, wherever, where all these people are, if you buy a quality machine, WIT or an AMS Vendo, if there's an opportunity to buy a used machine that's a quality machine and you, get, and you have cash on hand that you want to deploy, bring it in. You can do this from your home, from your garage, um, and make, uh, what, 1900 So we're gonna make 1900 on that. It's been listed for maybe two, maybe a week or two, two weeks. Um, the, the ones that set up for all drinks, not a lot of traffic. So you'll find, 
if my advice would be if you're looking to flip a machine try to do a combo but again you have to be careful segas all these little selected van all these cheap brands you got to do your homework do your homework check on the internet see what they're going for make sure it's a quality machine ams Wittern, and etc so um quick quick video here on this so at the end of the day to recap bought for what 1200 400 for shipping into it for 16 uh listed for 4000 dropped to 3500 gonna come pick up um pick up tomorrow so for a week's time to do that as a you know a, a side uh portion of the business you know selling machines isn't our main thing obviously you see the drinks behind us we have our 100 machine vending route down here that we we main, mainly focus on but if there's an opportunity like that um it can work so just wanted to do this video because some people a lot of people in the vending you don't need a big warehouse to do this you can pay someone to go pick it up take it back to your garage and you actually don't have to have moving equipment you don't have to have dollies or anything just pay them put it in your garage when the person comes they have to bring the equipment to move the machine and to make the 2000 so hope that helps and see if we have any comments here remember um, if you're trying to get started vending if you want to get a route want to know how to sell a bunch of product through vending machines hillvending.com forward slash start we've got three spots left in our uh, course before the price goes up we have the ebook ten dollar ebook is huge value ten dollar ebook comes with a free call with me to go over your area what questions you have um, and how we can get you set up to get started because basically you go on Facebook you go on YouTube there's a lot of a lot of info out there but not a lot of people with pallets in their videos not a lot of people with thousands and thousands of dollars in product in their videos so just make sure you consider the source uh, consider the source remember stay away from those $300 machines no good no good this this machine we actually just show you guys here before hop on this machine right here we're dropping price royal royal machine outdated front clean clean machine though had it listed for 1500 super clean nice machine bad part about this machine front and back loader cans here cans back there possibly uh the worst design ever in the history of vending machines um probably even worse than dixie narco dixie narco 501 ease i would probably take that over a royal um but this can take a card you can drill a card in there so it's it has some good features it has a drop sensor but the front and back loading aspect of of royal is hands down one of the worst decisions in the vending industry in the history of vending had someone ask me uh the other day where do they think the uh the the vending industry is going and you know i think more and more vending vending is going to get more and more popular for more and more items because you've seen convenience stores now are switching some to machine only you don't have to pay anybody just put some machines in there and get started the micro market aspect so um, is less secure. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. Thanks for watching. And again, hillvending.com forward slash start. we got some new things coming on. New things coming down. A little boot camp. We're going to try and plan just some different items to, to get you. Leave me in the comment if you watched this far. Leave me a comment. What's the one thing that you need the most help with with vending? Leave me a comment down below and let me know. But remember, until next time, uh-oh, ABM 2 for real we are located in Champa Bay. Champa Bay, commonly referred to as Tampa Bay. City of Champions, Tampa Bay, Florida. So that's where we're located. That's why it's so sunny and beautiful here. Um, just had someone stop by and they have family in Michigan. I guess it's uh, snowing, freezing rain, and it's almost May. Um, that's why people are moving to Florida. You know, the weather... I used to live in Pennsylvania, so I know about the the, the depressing winters. Um, I probably would not not have gotten to vending up there just because you're going to drive your box truck and spin out on black ice, dark, gloomy days. 
sad up there. So hopefully you guys are doing good. But remember, until next time, keep your drinks cold and your snacks fresh.